Hello there, good afternoon. I am Baba Tando and I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. There could be a new twist to the upcoming Ghana Football Association elections as disqualified presidential aspirant Wilfred Kweku Osei Palmer has filed an application for an injunction on only the GFA presidential elections at the Court of Arbitration for Sports, CAS. Palmer, earlier this week, filed an appeal at CAS to declare the decision of the Normalization Committee acting as the Elections Committee now and void. If the injunction is granted, the process will not go on as planned. Presidential candidate Fred Papu has reacted to this, and for him, his team will be ready whenever the elections will be held. The position of Fred Papu and Team Fred Papu is that we are resilient enough to survive anything that comes. If the election is coming on 25th, we'll be ready. If the election is postponed to whenever, we'll be ready. Only person or the only delegate I can say for, for, for sure is going to vote for Fred Papo is Fred Papo and Accra Great Olympics. Apart from that, no, I have received several commitments, very discreet and uh, matured and sincere commitments, which I can trust. And I'm telling you, say, I know what I know, and I can assure you, say, the grounds are bright, things are positive, the, bright, the, the prospects are very Now, Mr. Fred Papo, however, thinks that um, Wilfred Osei's disqualification is just unfortunate. Oh, P for P. It's not just my friend. We, see, we, we share the uh, uh, same, uh, what do you call it, campaign slogan. So we call each other double P for P. Double P for yeah, P. but for the, for, for the uh, sake of not confusing our... Our delegates and our fans, no? yeah. he, I asked him to stick to P4P. That I was going to go for FPFE. FPFP. Fred Papo for president. Okay. Yeah, yeah nice Palmer, man. Palmer, it's, it's, it's a bit unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you look at the circumstances and then the, uh, in order to disqualify, I find it very, very unfortunate. But in all these things, as in anything in life, no? me, my beliefs, uh, we always have to seek the uh, face of God to lead him in even his response and his reaction to the matter. And I'm sure, hopefully, no. He's going, uh, he's going by that. Uh, we've, been, we've been chatting quite well, and uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 I have the assurance that much as is a bit. But they say you have a dream, say you want to offer yourself to do something, and then uh, the door is closed at you or the door is shut at you at a certain point in time. Mm -hmm. It could be open for him to come, which would be fine. The University of Ghana Inter Hall Athletics competition has begun in earnest at the school's athletics overall. Now, being the major sporting event on the University of Ghana campus, the Inter Hall Games creates a platform for selection of potential and talented student athletes to represent uh, both the university, uh, the university in both national and international competitions. Here's a Joy Sports report. Men defending champions Commonwealth Hall lead the way on the medal table after day one of the University of Ghana Inter Hall Athletics. The three-day event started yesterday at the University Stadium and Vandals picked up gold in 5,000 meters. Men triple jump and men javelin. Raja Lagble is the long-distance sensation on campus and grabbed 5,000 meters gold but failed breaking his record of 15.21 by a second. It's unfortunate I couldn't break the record because I was planning to break the record this yes. time around. And uh, one thing is that I don't have any competitor. Okay. So, yeah, somebody who will push me to yeah. do better time. Oh, yeah. So I, 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 I paced, I used my own pace and then I go according to my own strength. As you can see the finishing, I was trying to pull out a little bit, but because there is no competitor, I couldn't uh, break the record. Sports director of the University of Ghana, Dr. Bella Belobitugu, was excited with the turnout and is looking forward to more this afternoon. I am really very, we are very, very proud, yes. more than proud. Yes. I mean, this is a guy, and one thing, this is what I always say. What we are trying to do is to nurture from nothing to something. Yes. And that is what we have shown with Azamati. Precisely. Not only taking athletes who are already cooked, who are already professionals, and come and parade. Yes, we can have some of them, but we should also be able to develop them. Universities in this century are supposed to nurture young talents and are also supposed to promote elite athletes because people go to university with 15 years, 16 years. Yeah. So you have to have that program. More expected this afternoon at the University of Ghana Stadium with Benjamin Azamati of Mensa Sabah Hall expected to feature in the 100 meters final alongside his longtime rival Michael Baden from the Commonwealth Hall. I think once that was just inter house heat last mm. year, yeah, mm. around 11.00, uh, 00, anyway, 11.01. Oh, so just 
a second, but in the finals, he showed me who's the master, you know. <laughs> Around but, okay. 10 point six something. Around yes. 10 point eight, eight three. 10 point eight three. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be really different, you know, because mm. you are all training. Mm. Yeah, he has more experience than I do because yes. he has been to competition, the All African Games, and the IWF, of course, IWF, in Doha. Yeah. yeah. So it's not going to be an easy task, but I'm just hoping for the best, you know. Mm. And there's more pressure on me because... Yeah, because the Commonwealth I've boys won, need you to do this. Yeah, yes. I've mm. won the 200 meters about 20, uh, two times in a row. Yes. And this is my final year, so then yes. I have to take it three times. There's more if you log on to my journalline.com forward slash sports. I tweet at the handle at Babatan. The same for Instagram sports is done.